Today I'm going to do a video of a 2015 Ferrari California T. This car was built with a custom color of California blue. The whole front end was uh, clear wrapped with Expel. Does have a stripe down the center. That is a decal and not painted. If someone wants to take it off, it is easily done. It has front and rear cameras, polished grill in the front. There is not a scratch, a dent, or a nick on this car. The original owner took meticulous care of this. There are no scratches on the rims or road rash. has yellow calipers, yellow badges. It also matches the yellow tack on the inside. During the course of the time I've owned this car, I've had three different interior designers come up to me and ask me about who built the car because the combination of colors, both inside and out, is just stunning. And I have to agree, of all the cars I've owned, I've never had more people say what an absolutely beautiful car with those colors. I think Ferrari captured the essence of what they've always managed to do, which was combine the masculine and feminine of a vehicle, put them together in just a beautiful combination. This car is being sold with a stock exhaust system. Currently, it has a fab speed exhaust with a Capristo two stage electronic baffle control. I recognize that many people don't want or like anything other than stock, so I've decided to sell it that way and let the buyer choose if he wants to have the other parts, in which case, we can do, negotiate that after the sale. This does also have an ECU flash, which puts out about 80 to 90 horsepower more over stock than what it did in mid-range. It's only about 50 horsepower total, but the combination of those aftermarket pieces makes it perform very similar to my Ferrari 488, which is what I sold just prior to buying this. It does have fully electric seats with heating, diamond stitching with blue, blue seat belts, Carbon fiber steering wheel. If you look at the list of the sticker, it shows pretty well the details of what was put into this car. It had a MSRP of $276,000, which was a very well-equipped California tee. 